Take 226. Action! Hey guys, GNT here. <laughs> and I have not been having a great time getting my thoughts together on this episode. And the thing is, there's not even much that actually happened here. The first part was them deciding on what they're going to do on the trip. And the second part were, was them in a swimsuit shop. There's nothing dynamic here. And I don't know why I'm having such issues putting this together. But let me try and do this to the best of my abilities. Which is not much. My abilities are quite low. Uh, and my brain capacity is also quite low. So don't expect anything magnificent here. Anywho, with the first half of this episode, um, when they were putting their ideas together, Cosma suggested a test of courage, which is a typical thing in anime, but it would be it would be really weird with this cast of characters, which Subaru said, and it was it was hilarious to me. I don't know if it was actually a funny thing or if it was only funny because of the characters here. Because he was saying with these characters, being in the classroom every day is a test of courage. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? I'd have to agree with you because if, if this were an actual real situation and not just an anime, being in a room full of freaking monsters would actually be quite frightening, you know? But since it's an anime, you don't see them as monstrous beings, you just see them as another character. So, that was a good point there, and the whole thing about it with this beach trip that I'm starting to feel like we're not going to get the beach trip. Like, they're going to keep saying they're going, and then the show's going to end. I don't know, I'm just, ooh, I'm just saying. Just super saying here. But yeah, as far as the beach trip goes, because here's the thing. Like I was saying in the last video, it's not your typical anime. It's chibi character, so you can't really do a proper fan service -y type thing, which is usually what beach trips and test of courage episodes are. So, it's a little weird. But as far as that first half goes, that was the only real interesting part of it. The rest of it was typical uh, stuff for this show. And here's my thing. Aqua was disagreeing with the whole plan thing. And I expected typical Kazuma. to just come out with a paper fan and just flop right across the back of her head. But it didn't happen. Then we moved to the second half when they were in the swimsuit shop. And Aqua was having issues with Alberto and um, Shaltier. And I was expecting the fan again. It never came. It's my favorite little bit that they do, but it, it never showed up. It's actually quite sad. But everybody was in there looking for swimsuits and whatnot. And Aqua says to um, Kazuma that Alberto and, and Shaltier are a succubus and a vampire. And Kazuma does his Kazuma thing because he immediately started thinking about the succubus, uh, the, well, what do you call it? The service, there we go, that he got, well, he's supposed to get in <laughs> Konosuba. And he was asking Alberto, does she do the whole dream thing? Which, hilarious. If you, if you haven't seen Konosuba, you need to go and check that out. It's, it was a, a funny episode with the whole succubus thing. It was great. But when he did that, I just... I cracked up. It was a nice little callback. It was hilarious. And the face he was making while breathing. <laughs> oh, goodness. It was so good. And then Shaltier tells Kazuma that, you know, Alberto's actually a virgin, which is a little bit weird, but expected. <laughs> you know, because you expect this stuff with your anime characters. But with her being a succubus, it's still weird. And Aqua comes up and she spits the, the best line of the episode. There's nothing in this world that you can't do and be proud of. Yeah. Okay. And then she says, except padding bras. <laughs> and, and they let you know that 
Chantier apparently pats her bra. I don't remember that being said in the um <laughs> in the regular Overlord show, but apparently it's a thing, and we all know it now. And uh, that's pretty much your episode. Yeah, no joke. That is your episode. It was fun. I laughed quite a bit, and I actually enjoyed this one. So, as far as a rating goes, it's a 4 out of 5 for me. It was pretty decent. And the pairings and characters that were matched up actually went quite well with this one. Like, sometimes they throw characters together that just aren't entertaining. It is what it is. But here, it was perfect. Yes, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, it was perfect. So, anywho, I tell you what, that's going to do it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know exactly what you thought about this episode in the comments below. Huh. Peace out, and have a great day.